Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Come on in and find your seats. Come on in, guys. Believe it or not, we are halfway through week of prayer. So uh, we're moving right along. The first night, what was the piece of armor that was talked about? The belt of truth. Last night, we had the breastplate of righteousness. And in just a little while, Lucy will share with us a third piece of armor. It's always exciting to come in from wreck. And uh, so we're going to let our praise group come up, and they're going to lead us in some worship songs. So just as you were using that energy to talk and share, I hope that you'll use that same energy, use that same voice to lift up and praise to God. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, we are going to make you guys stand up for the whole thing. But we have good songs that we pray that you guys enjoy. So please stand. Thank you. And please stand. And our first song is White Flag. We sang it last year, so be blessed.
Brittany. I, I'm so sorry. I, I came home early, and then I completely lost track of time. Wait, why did you come home early? You're not sick, are you? No, I, I'm, I'm not sick. And why are you wearing Dad's hat and house shoes? I had a really rough day at school, okay? I just felt like wearing them. Fine. You don't have to be so harsh. Okay, I, I wasn't being harsh. I was just being passionate. And this is you, you know. I know. I just, I just don't know why he did it. Who knows why anyone does it? Yeah, but he should have said something. We, we could have gotten help. We, we could have done something. Yeah, you're right. He should have said something. But he didn't. He allowed his demons to win, and Brian, we had to suffer for it. But Pastor Rob told me that if I give all my burdens about this to God, he would take away my pain and give me peace. And now, even though I miss God more than anything in the world, I don't have to worry about his demons affecting me, because God will keep them away. I think you should really pray for God to send his angels to protect you. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, there's one more thing. Mom texted me and she said that she's working a double at the hospital tonight, so she's just going to sleep there. And so you need to either invite Kenny over or go to his house because I am going to rest with Rebecca. All right. And, cool. um, one more. Uh, she just wants to be the one tonight. Oh, and remember what I said. Start praying now because something tells me tonight holds nothing but grief for all of us. Yeah. Okay, see you later. The boots. The boots an essential piece of the soldier's equipment. You have to have sure footing on a battlefield. These are government issued, desert tan, rubber non-slip soles, nylon laces. And in most of our cases, once we put our boots on, we put them in a certain fashion, certain order. I took my trousers in tie the shoelaces across, and then I'll tuck the boot laces down inside. It serves two purposes. It keeps the debris and anything out, keeps my ankle stabilized, and keeps me from possibly snagging my foot on something as I'm traversing terrain. About this, I don't have sure footing. Here, without the proper footwear, I don't feel confident in my mission. If I'm going out into a rocky terrain in a pair of tennis shoes, I'm not going to be confident. I'm not going to attack the objective. I'm not going to be successful in my mission if I'm not wearing the right footwear. Now that you learned about a soldier's boots, I'd like to introduce Lucy. Um, am I on? Okay. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. So hey guys, welcome to Student Week of Prayer. And today our theme, well this year our theme is, oh wow this is really tall. Um, today, well or this year our theme is um, the spiritual battlefield, right? And so each day we have been going through each specific armor. And we've learned that this battlefield starts from the day that we wake up till the day we hit the hay. And so every choice we make affects everything we do, right? And how everything plays out in this battlefield we call life. And so on Monday, we learned about the belt of truth and how that belt of truth holds everything together. Without it, our pants were sag, right? So also we've learned yesterday with Alex about the breastplate of righteousness 
and how that prevents those blows from actually hitting us and how it protects our hearts, the most vital part of our bodies. And tonight, we're going to learn about the boots of the peace. So please pray with me as we begin. Thank you, God, for this wonderful day. Please let these words be yours. Um, let the people who need to hear this, let their hearts be opened, and please just use me as a tool. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Amen. So let's go back to a time where slavery was a big oppression for African Americans, where they had to endure people every day being starved to death or even worked to the bone, where they didn't know if the next Christmas they were going to be able to see their mom and dad, where every day was a struggle, where nothing was certain at all. In the midst of this, they were able to make up songs, songs that were so powerful to them that let them have the ability to go on with days. And these lyrics were so important to them. And I want to read you a stanza from one of the songs. And the song is called Heaven. And, it's called, and it says, I've got shoes, you've got shoes, all of God's children's got shoes. When I get to heaven, I'm going to put on my shoes and I'm going to walk all over God's heaven. They knew what we know and need to take as important to our lives. They knew that these shoes are, not, are something that we need to put on every single day. These shoes that give us peace. The peace that they are able to conquer all those different obstacles and challenges and struggles that they face every single day. Please turn with me to Ephesians 6.15. Ephesians 6.15 reads, With your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Paul is saying that we need to have our feet fitted with peace. Peace that can give us hope. This peace what is this piece, right? How do we get it? Where does it come from? How, can, how is it possible to achieve peace in a world that's so chaotic? There were two men. These two men had a mission. Their mission was to build a house. And one of the men decided they loved beaches. They loved sand. They loved how sand made them feel. So he built his house upon sand. Yes, you know the song, I'm not going to sing it. Um, and the other man built his house upon the rock. And when they were done building with the same materials that they both had, they, there came a big storm. And the storm brought hail, it brought wind, it impacted with all the storms could possibly have. And in the end of the storm, only one house stood standing. And that one house that stood standing was the one that was built upon the rock. The rock that's God. The rock that is our anchor. The one thing that can hold us in that stableness that we need. That safety. The firmness. Not the sand. And so... Please open with me Psalms 119, 165. It reads, Great peace have those who love your law, who love and oh, who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. So we know that where we plant our feet is our foundation, right? So once we have in that story that I just told you, that foundation is so vital because it shows where we're standing. It shows where we're headed towards. And if we're not headed towards God, we're going to fall right on our face. And so it's so important to know that you need to have your feet standing firm on God, the foundation that was not, is not going to let you fall. And so it's important to know this and so please open with me to Isaiah 26, 3. 26, verse 3. 
And it says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. You will have perfect peace. Those minds that are steadfast because they trust in you. I don't know about you, but my experience of trust was very heartbreaking because um, the first time I experienced the backlashes of trust was younger age elementary school. Um, it was very impacting to me just because I, when I, you know, the little girls, when you're like always like, yay, you're going to go play with your friends and you just like give them all the trust in the world because it's your first time you're trusting. You're, you don't have that fear yet because you don't know about it. Ignor you're ignorant to that feeling until you actually feel it. And then when you have that feeling of you don't want to trust anyone, it's hard to trust again. It's hard to put your trust out there because you're putting yourself out there. But God is telling us we will have perfect peace if we trust in him, which is so out there. Right? It's so radical to think we will have trust in him, right? Because when we trust people, it makes us scared. We feel like maybe he's going to tell my secret to someone or maybe she's not going to keep it. Maybe she doesn't think it's important to not tell the other person. But the only reason why we feel scared, why we feel like we need to worry or doubt at all, is because we're putting it in the wrong places. If we put it in God, in something that we have it founded on, in the gospel of peace, in the boots of peace, if we have it founded on something that is steady and firm and has proved back in the past since the beginning to not fall or crumble, it won't. It's only when we put our trust in man and people who we think we can trust, but we're human. <laughs> it happens. So it says in John 16.33, it reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. He has overcome this world. Once we have made him our foundation and are able to trust in him and don't have to worry about the anxiety or stress, about having nothing else, we are founded on him. We will not stumble. We will not fall because he tells us ahead of time that, hey, heads up, there's going to be that struggle. There's going to be that call when you answer and something back home isn't right. There's going to be that time when your boyfriend does something wrong. There's going to be that time when your friends aren't going to be there for you. He's giving us a heads up. There's going to be that time when that confidence is going to be gone and you're not going to have it anymore. There's going to be a time where you're laid off. He's giving us a heads up to telling us that we need to have our foundation fitted on him and be able to trust him. He's, that peace that he's given us, he's telling us those is so crucial for us to have. That peace has to become like shoes that we wear every single day. They have to be put on every single day. Imagine with me that you were in the beautiful GCA campus and um, where there is no thunderstorms or rain. It's always sunny in GCA. So for this specific week, you, were ha you had no shoes. There's no way. You couldn't borrow from the dorm or anything. You just were, had to go barefoot for this whole week. You know what? Let's make it a month. You had to go barefoot for the whole month. And it just so happens that the sunshine at GCA stops shining, and there's storms during this month. It's the craziest months because there's a hailstorm, there's a snowstorm, there's a thunderstorm, all these different storms. 
but you are not able to put on shoes. What do you think your feet are going to feel like? Or worse, look like? No, 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 smell like. Because I know that after anyone plays basketball or soccer or anything like those sports, their feet stink. It's not cute. So you're going to be catching blisters, splinters. Your feet are going to be bleeding. Personally, I have soft feet. You can just ask any of my friends. And they're very sensitive. So anything that's like even carpet hurts. So anything affects it very crucial. And there's going to be times in your life where those blisters and splinters are going to come. God is telling us those challenges will occur. So why not put on shoes? Why not put on these boots of peace? Let's read Romans 5.1. Romans 5.1. Thank you. It says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we have it. He has given, has given us these boots of peace since the day we were born. He has customized these boots to fit us, specifically every single one of you. In that moment where you feel angry and you just don't know what to do because you're irritated or annoyed with the circumstances that you can't change, he has given you those boots that you can put on and let it adjust to that instant. Or that moment when everything is going wrong, when calf food is terrible, your test score that you studied all night for has gone wrong and you don't understand why, and you don't know how you're gonna tell your parents, he has given you those boots that, feel, that will fit perfectly for that moment. That moment where you don't think that peace could happen, but it will because he has customized it for you. He has given it to you free as a gift in a box wrapped for you. It's whether or not you open that box and wear them every single day. That's 2 Thessalonians 3.16. It says, Now, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in every way, at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you of all. Once we put on this shoes and boots of peace and plant them on the ground of God, once we have fitted them, and are steady, and nothing's going to make us slide, just like the commander said. He has those, that friction that doesn't let them slip. When Satan throws those curveballs that we don't see coming, when God has told us that those struggles, those calls, that anxiety, that stress is going to come, we will not fall. We will not crumble. We will not feel like the carpet is falling out. We will stand firm, even if a bunch of things that happen around us that we cannot prevent will happen. Yes, this doesn't mean that we will be taken out of the situation. It doesn't mean that we're just going to be teleported to this magical land where the streets are made of candy and it's Willy Wonka factory everywhere and there's only unicorns and rainbows. That's not what it means. You're still going to have those troubles because he says those struggles are going to come. That's just part of our Christian walk of every single day. That's just part of the walk. But what he's saying is when, those, when that pain hits you, when that depression comes back to you, when that temptation is creeping up on you, He's saying he will be there to work with you. He will be there to give you a break. He will be there to give you peace. Peace that adjusts to you according to your struggles. A 
let's read John 14, 27. Thank you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. I do not give it as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give it as the world gives. I do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. That's very impacting because when there's stuff happening around us and chaos is happening everywhere, how can we stay peaceful, right? How can we stay calm in the midst of that? And he's saying with him being our rock, with him being our anchor, with our boots already put on that he's given us, that he has prepared us for, it's going to be okay. He's going to be there to work with us for it, through it. So why not put on these boots? Why not wear them every single day when we already know these things are going to happen? The storms are going to come. GCA is not always going to be sunny. So why not put them on? The battlefield that we're faced today, that battlefield is not going anywhere. That battlefield is going to still be here tomorrow, the next day. It's not going anywhere. The only difference that we make is whether or not we're actually putting on the armor, whether or not we're actually fighting on God's side, whether or not you're on his side. Because if you choose to ignore it, it's, it's still going to be there. It's just whether or not you're making an effort to be on God's side. So not, why not put on the armor? Why not take a chance on God? Why not have the safety net? Why not have this oasis that you can have when, all, when everything is going wrong, everything is falling, and you don't know what to hold on? Why not have God as your oasis, as your safe haven? Why not put on the boots of peace? Tonight, I would like to ask, Anyone who feels the need that they need this peace, who feels the need that they're struggling in some way, to come up front, and I'm going to have a special prayer for you. If you feel the need that you're struggling in some way, that you feel like the ground beneath you is just falling apart because you're not certain of what's going to happen tomorrow, if you're not certain that something that you're just scared. If you're just scared and you feel like, God, I really need this peace that you're talking about. I really need these shoes. I want to make the choice to wear these shoes every single day of my life. Just please come up front if you feel the need. If, you're, if you feel insecure in a relationship that you have or anything like that, God, I really want to have these peace in me. I really want these shoes to be fitted on me. Please help me with these challenges, these struggles that you have predicted for me. And even if it's after, during prayer, don't be scared to come up. It'll be fine while we're praying. Please bow your heads. Thank you, God for giving us the ability to express our religion. You see these students up here, staff members, you see them, they want this piece. They want to take the chance to open the box and put on these shoes every single day. You know their needs, you know their challenges, their struggles, whatever, whether it's depression, anger, devastation, grief, uncertainty, doubt, you know what it is. You know what they're struggling with. Please, God, let them have the peace you have promised us. Thank you for letting us have the opportunity to talk about this and guide them on their walk as their Christian walk through everything. Amen.
another piece of armor that, that God gives us is peace through everything. Um, you, even if you didn't come up here in your room uh, tonight with your roommate, with your RA, whatever, you can ask God to give you that peace each and every day. I uh, remember we have a prayer time at 7.30 tomorrow, and uh, you guys study hard, and we'll see you tomorrow as we look for another piece of armor. <laughs>